Karen, uh, what role do barriers play in small fields? Yeah, I suppose they have a little bit of an impact, but um, um, we've drawn the outside barrier, so we're going to have to um, set a plan to overcome that. Um, you know, it's, it's, if it was a big field and you draw the outside, obviously it's much tougher, but there's only eight runners, so um, hopefully we can sort ourselves out from there. It will be a very tactical race, so for sure, won't it? Yeah, you know, my horse is um, based in a few different positions, but um, hopefully we can see him begin well and get into a nice, nice spot somewhere, just depending on, obviously, how the other jockeys play their cards. It's all going to depend on um, once the barriers open, um, what happens inside me? Uh, historically, Caulfield's been a difficult track for horses coming from the Sydney Way. Do you expect your your bloke will have a, an advantage over some of the others? Well, yeah, it's, I, I find it's always good to have a run around there. But um, my fellow was his first run there the other day in the Prelude, and he got around there like he'd been there all his life. So, um, as Ron said in his his statements up there on the, on the. Um, on the stage, he said that uh, Manawanui is quite adaptable, which he looks that sort of horse. So, um, you know, it might be a little bit of an ad advantage to both us and Smart Missile having a run around the track. Um, but um, it's, it's just three quality colts. Uh, with also you throw in Chase the Rainbow, who's an up and comer. So, uh, a fantastic race to look forward to. Uh, Smart Missile, what makes you think that you can turn the tables on? Um, well, look. It's 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 um, they're going to be two two tough horses to beat. Obviously, we're not going in there bullish. We're going in there quite confident that a horse can run well, uh, and we're going to find out whether he's good enough to beat those two. Um, obviously, Manor when we beat us beat us both fair and or fair and square, but having everything go his way in the Golden Rose. Um, so, I'd just like to see a fair run race where everyone gets a chance, and then we'll know the, the quality cold after that. How far short of Seacoy is your bike? Well, he's a different sort of horse, so it's hard to compare, you know. Obviously, Seapoy is a sprinter, whereas this, this fella's more a, a 400 metre mile or even further. So, um, yeah, you, you can't draw comparisons between those two. Uh, and you were saying up on stage that uh, this, uh, uh, this meeting several years ago was a, a big step forward for you, or the, the four wins at Cornfield. Can you talk a little bit about meeting uh, uh, the shake over? over in Dubai and getting the opportunity to came your way? Yeah, I just I won the trip for two to uh, Dubai and that was on offer when I rode the four winners on, on the day and um, and then later that spring I rode for Godolphin in the Mel in the Caulfield of Melbourne Cups and uh, I, I said to them, you know, I've got this trip to uh, Dubai, can I come and meet up and ride a bit of track work? And that's how the association started from there. Um, ended up staying for their racing carnival that year, which was 2003 and then came home, went back for the next year's racing carnival in 2004 and rode a number, num, number of winners for them over there again and um, and then Simon Crisford and Sheikh Mohammed asked me to, to ride for them in England so yeah, I met the Sheikh over there in Dubai and um, he was obviously pretty happy with how I was riding and, and saw that I was a talent on the up and uh, it's been a dream come true for for me, you know, a jockey here in Australia to get the opportunity to ride for such a, a global stable and um, and, he, and he's been a great uh, a great boss to have. A couple of uh, horses went into quarantine the other day apparently. Do you know what your plans are for the Cups yet? Yeah, if, if both of those come out, uh, lost in the moment and um, and Moden, then I'll be on one of those in the Melbourne Cup. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to finding out um, how they travel out here. Do you get the choice or do you get told what you um, No, Frankie's obviously going to, he, he might come out as well. So, um, you know, they're both going to be, be quality horses to ride in the Melbourne Cup. So uh, I won't be too fussed.